Hi, welcome to Let's Play Math, where we play some games, learn some math, and have some fun. This is part 10 in our series on fractions. It's called the least common denominator. As you know, if you want to add or subtract fractions, they need to have the same denominator, a common denominator. If they don't, then you need to find equivalent fractions that do. For instance, what's one half plus one fourth? Well, one half equals two fourths. So that's two fourths plus one fourth, or three fourths. Now, you could write one half plus one fourth equals four eighths plus two eighths, or eight sixteenths plus four sixteenths. But there's no need to do that. It's just simpler to use the smallest denominator you can that'll work for both fractions, the least common denominator. Let's say we want to add one-fourth plus one-sixth. What's the least common denominator? Here's the easiest way to find it. Just write down the multiples of each denominator. So four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is twelve, then sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, and so on. And six times one is six, six times two is twelve, then eighteen, twenty-four, and so on. Now. You just find the first number that appears on both lists. In this case, it's 12. The simplest way to solve 1 fourth plus 1 sixth is to write them as twelfths. 1 fourth equals 3 twelfths, and 1 sixth is 2 twelfths. So 1 fourth plus 1 sixth equals 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths, or 5 twelfths. Ready for your game? This time, it's Fruit Shoot Least Common Denominator on shepherdsoftware.com. Start with level 1 and work your way up. You can practice in relaxed mode or beat the clock for a high score. Just watch the cursor for a set of fractions, like 1 half plus 4 fifths, and find the least common denominator. What are the multiples of 2? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 10 is a multiple of 5 as well. So the least common denominator is 10. I click on the fruit that says 10 and score. Just remember, the more you practice, the easier it'll get. Now, just type Shep into your favorite search engine to find shepherdsoftware.com. Click on Math Games, then on Fractions, and then on Least Common Denominator and try it for yourself. We'll see you again next time for another episode of Let's Play Math.